Welcome back YouTubers and today's video is all about eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this cute little black beauty book from e.l.f. that I got for my birthday from a very special friend. It has a lot of different warm colors in it and it's really cute. It also came with two brushes and this one I'm using I will leave in the description box because I don't know what it is. But I'm going to take this brown top khaki looking color because none of these have names and go ahead and pack that onto both of my eyelids. Packing is a technique that makes the color more vibrant and beautiful. It's where you go ahead and just pat it onto your eyelid opposed to swiping or rubbing it around. Because this is going to end up being more of a smoky eye, I'm going to go ahead and drag that out towards my outer brow bone. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this rich brown color, the brown, not the blue that it looks like I was pointing at, and I'm going to add that to the outer part of my eye that I just put the brown on top of before. This is going to start creating that smoky effect that we're looking for. To help start our blending process, I'm going to drag that into my crease and just pat it out just a little bit. Now I'm going to take this cranberry maroonish color and drag that into my crease. I'm also going to pull it out just a little bit and up just a little bit. This color is more of a blending color. It's going to help serve as a medium between the darker colors on my lid and the lighter colors on my brow bone. In order for that transition color to be a little more prominent on my face, I'm going to take a very thin layer and pack it onto my brow bone. Now we're going to move into the fun part, the actual smoke. We're going to take a darker brown that I just pointed at and almost outline the outside of your whole eyelid. Drag it into the crease and up into the color that you put as your transition color. You're going to try to make as straight of a line as you can against the side of your eye, making it line up with the curve that your eye, almost where your eyebrow and your eye would meet if it were long enough to do so. The trick to getting it to look smoky without looking like you have a black eye or looking bruised is you're going to pack as much as you can onto the outside of your eye and then slowly drag it inward. Making it slow and thinning out the product really helps give a whole lot of control to where the color is and where the darkness is on your eye. I'm going to blend that out with my fingers because your fingers are really your best tools. Now to clean it all up a bit, if you don't want to use the tape trick or you already have your foundation done and can't use the tape trick like I am, I'm going to take this LA Pro Girl Concealer in the, warm, in the color Medium Beige and I'm going to create that defined line against the side of my eyeshadow that you would get if you were to use tape. I'm going to take the least expensive tools you can, your fingers once again, and I'm going to drag that line back towards my ears. I don't want to blend it down any further because I already have a highlight and all of that. So I just want to drag it backwards towards my ear and then tap it out so that you can't see it on my temple. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip it into this pretty little cranberry color again and drag it down my lower lash line. This is going to help create an all around smoky effect. This leaves it so that you don't have to wear bottom eyeliner because I know how much of a mess that can get if you wear it for an extended period of time. 
I'm gonna go back with a lighter brown and I'm gonna put that right on top of it so that it blends more with what's on my actual eyelid opposed to whatever colors that you decide to put down there which could be black which could make it look really harsh all that good stuff eyeshadow also stays there a whole lot longer than your eyeliner will Now to make sure that everything is blended out between your highlight and the line that you just created with your concealer, take a beauty blender and tap it all the way. Next I'm going to be taking this dual eyeliner pen thing from Ulta and I'm going to use the color deep brown and I'm going to tight line my eyes with it. I generally stop at the inner corner of my iris. I don't like to go all around my eye because my eyes are small and closing off my eyes will create a smaller look. Now for the part that I suck at. Are you guys ready for this? Dun dun dun. I'm about to try to put on some lashes using this Jet Black Envy glue. I like to use black because the clear tends to dry white for me and black just looks so much better against my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue, a thin strip against the strip of adhesive that's already keeping the lashes together. Now I'm going to blow on it and I'm going to use a mirror and go above my eyelashes by looking down. Looking down into the mirror really helps you along with using tweezers to put it precisely where you want it to be on your face. And I'm so sorry, I will definitely leave what lashes I'm wearing in the description box. They're baby wispies, my favorite things ever that I got from Sally's, but I can't think of who they're from right now. So I will definitely leave that in the description box. But putting on lashes is very, very tedious for me. I'm not that great at it. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do it on the other eye. And what you do is you basically lower it down onto your lash line while you're looking down and then pull it in, push it in to where you need it to go. Pulling it out sideways and then pushing it inward towards your lash line really helps it stick and stay against your lash line so that it looks more natural. Goodness gracious, thank you Jesus, that is over. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some lipstick that I also forgot to show you that I will put in the description bar. And then I'm gonna top that with a lip gloss that I have no idea what it is or what it's called, that it, it's nothing on the bottle. But applying that to my lips is going to complete this look. As always, thank you so much for watching.